What's up guys, how's it going? David aka The Special Dave here, back with episode number 19 of Dave in Deutschland and sadly once more I'm ridden with these infuriating things called exams so I can't be going out and about on our usual little tour of Dresden. So instead I thought I'd give you a little taster of my weekend routine here in Germany and show you some of the exciting things I get up to on Saturdays and Sundays here. The only problem is, is that I don't know how to condense watching YouTube videos into 5 minutes. But anyway, I'll give it a try. So guys, the time is 7.30 and I've just woken up, so time to get some breakfast. So for breakfast, I like to start my day with an omelette, so let's bang in the peppers. Right, so now that breakfast is done with, I've got to go and do my washing. <clears throat> Which I've got to go outside for and go round to the washroom. And now we'll come back in an hour. So now that the washing sorted, it's time for my shower. So now I've finished my shower. As you can see, my hair's still a little bit wet. So I've got to wait for my washing to finish now. So I get a little bit of time to myself to play about on the computer. Right, so I've collected my washing. I've hung it up to dry. And now I suppose it's time to get down to a revision. <sighs> it's currently 10.30 and I've done a decent bit of revision, you know, just preparing a little bits and bobs for when Steve gets here so I know what I'm doing when he gets here essentially and yeah so it's time for a break and a cheeky bit of lunch mmm smoked salmon sandwich liquor and a cheeky cup of tea to go with that Pint, obviously. Nothing less will do. So me and Steve have finished our first little revision session. Yeah, we uh, worked through some exercises, you know. Got through a lot of the content that we've been uh, learning over the past couple of weeks. And so, uh, he's gone for lunch now, he's gone for a cheeky Mackey's, whereas I've gone to Lidl to pick myself up some second lunch in the form of flam kuchen. Mmm, oh, I like that, yeah. So, a quick break before the torture recommences. So revision for the day is now done and dusted, which means it's time to get the body moving and normally I'd go outside for a run right now, but it's still pretty chilly out, you know, I still think it's in the negative temperatures. So instead I'm gonna do a few press ups, sit ups, etc, etc. So just a bit of circuit training in my room. So now that I've done my exercise for the day and had my second shower of the day, uh, it's time to kick back and enjoy a little bit of football. I've got my dual screen action going on, so FIFA on one screen and uh, 
Gillette Soccer Saturday on the other. Chelsea have just gone 2-1 up against Villa, so loving that. And now time for a spot of dinner. Mm. So now as we get into the latter stages of the evening, I'm beginning to wind down. I'm going through all the clips that I've uh, taken today and working through them, putting them together in the final video product, as you can see on my laptop here. So working very hard at that, it shouldn't take too long now, but yeah, that's about it. So that is the typical weekend of Dave and Dresden. Well, for exam season, normally they're a little bit more exciting than that. So a quick note as well, guys, if you missed it on my Facebook page over the weekend, here are the stats to my website over the past month and the numbers are absolutely incredible. I think I got over 900 visitors to the special day over January, which is just absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching videos, reading my blog posts. I really appreciate it. So thank you just once more as well, guys. Keep doing so, keep reading, keep watching, and hopefully those numbers will increase by the end of February. So that concludes the episode, guys. Once more, thank you so much for all the support you've given me. Otherwise, this has been David, aka The Special Dave. Until Wednesday, take care. So starting with accommodation, I would say in general that in the UK, flats and apartments are much, much more furnished than they are here in Germany where things can be a little bit basic. So for example, I didn't even get curtains when I arrived here, which in the UK is kind of a given when you're at a flat or apartment. So yeah, just be prepared to bring a few more extra things to make things feel um, more homely 